What's up, guys? To Intuitive 717 while the Bossy Peeves is off on her dinner date with herself, just chilling like she does. <laughs> um, I'm going to do some messages around the collective here. I want to I want to first tap into the feminine's energy, okay? What do you need to know about the twin flame journey at this time, Divine Feminine? What do the Divine Feminines need the heads up on, universe, about the connection to the Divine Masculine? Okay, so these also want to slip out. Let's see what's falling on the floor here. I'm hearing Nurture Yourself, Divine Feminine, with the Milk card. Okay, so make sure that you guys are taking good care of yourselves. Um, the knife energy is about cutting ties or making sure that your intuition is on point. Okay, making sure that you guys are trusting your intuition about the things around you right now. We also have the white dress. Okay, so your energy right now could be very triggering to people because you hold a lot of truth with the white dress. You hold a lot of purity. A lot of your masculines could be headed your way right now. Um, and so it's creating a lot of uh chaotic energy around you okay how do, what kind of energy is around the divine feminine right now because of the divine masculine what kind of energy right now is around the divine feminine because of the divine masculine okay so we have the peacock here um i f i honestly guys with the peacock coming through i feel like it's kind of just kind of this cut to the chase energy okay a lot of your masculines want to connect with you intimately i keep getting that i keep feeling it okay um i feel like the universe may be speeding up this connection between you two and the white dress here i feel represents the attraction between your divine masculine and yourself here divine feminine um Protect your energy, shield yourself with the white dress. So white can oftentimes be like to shield something off. Like if you go off in the sun and it's a really hot day to protect yourself from the heat, you can wear white to reflect. That's what I'm getting with the white dress. Divine feminines wear a lot of white at this time. Pay attention to the jewelry that you're wearing. Um, I'm also hearing like it's not meant to scare you, but if you are able to just enjoy solitude at this time like spend a lot of time enjoying your own company that could be beneficial here because someone's getting ready to court you okay with the peacock energy here um they're re getting ready to cut ties as well you may be having to be on guard i've channeled this already i've channeled this message already where a lot of the divine feminines are prepping themselves to be on guard because the masculines are on their way towards you if from a passionate point of view What's the masculine's energy towards the feminine? From a passionate place, what's the masculine's energy like? Okay, I feel like these are way too many. Let's put it all back in. I just want one card to work with the universe. Help us to understand what the masculine is feeling towards the divine feminine. Okay, there's been a theme of snails as well in my YouTube shorts if you guys haven't checked it out. I think I posted snails twice already in the last little while where I've come across them. My son is also very fascinated with snails. Um, but I do feel like it's attractive that you move slowly. You may not move backward, but you, you move slowly. You move at your own pace here, Divine Feminine. It's a very, very, very attractive energy we also have the toad here coming up the toad for me the key word that i get right away is magic so many of you may be forced to use magic at this time to protect yourself as you're moving slow paced on this journey you're being called to protect yourself because with your masculines here in this peacock energy they're very eager which could be a fast-paced moving energy to come towards you okay so it's bringing about a lot of superficial artificial energy lower vibrational energy jealousy eyes on you people making fun of you people doubting this connection between you and your masculine people seeing you as the fool 
Um, but we do have the toad here, which I feel is patience. Um, the toad also camouflages very well. So lay low <laughs> for the divine feminines is what I'm hearing. The snail and toad combination is a beautiful heads up from the universe to just lay low and take care of yourself right now. There's absolutely nothing wrong with kicking up your feet and indulging with taking care of yourself because everything is as it's meant to be at this time is what I get with the combination of cards here. The cauldron energy here represents that the universe's hand is at play, meaning divine timing is the divine intervention that's occurring. Okay, so for a lot of you, don't push, don't force, is what I feel like this reading is saying to you. Okay, don't push or force anything because the universe has your back. The Divine Feminine is being guided to just move slowly and move in silence because there's nothing you can do about your Divine Masculine's feeling attracted to you at this time. Okay, a lot of you with the knife energy here, you want to cut ties with your Divine Masculine, but that's not going to happen anytime soon because their soul is not done yet teaching you Divine Feminine. Um, so many of you just be prepared for that, okay? If you're really feeling frustrated... Let's get one card on what the Divine Masculine is meant to teach you in this lifetime. Why do they keep sticking around and lingering around? What are they meant to teach you? Can we get insights on maybe one of the life lessons or one of the major lessons that they're here to help the Divine Feminine with? Okay, so we do get Pond. And for me, Pond is very feminine energy because water for me is very feminine energy. But for me, Pond is peace. Um, it's harboring peace in your own environment and I feel like that's why you and your masculine have maybe encountered one another at this time this peacock here really wants to spread their wings here and show you everything they've got because they want a place in this pasture divine feminine believe me okay you may have a peaceful little pond here many of you may be attracted to ponds ducks um, wildlife um, anything that creates a, a scene of serenity and a peaceful equilibrium is what you're all about. And I feel like this is why your Divine Masculine continues to be drawn to your energy time after time after time after time. It's because the Pond energy here says the Feminine creates a sense of fertility, peace, home. When you come home, you can take off your shoes, take off your socks, hang up your coat, you go have a warm shower feel refreshed and relaxed and grateful and then you go and you sit down and you have a warm meal and you have a warm cup of coffee after and you snuggled up <laughs> with your loved one at the end of the night i feel like this divine feminine provides that environment time and time again your divine masculine finds themselves craving that home sweet home okay that that home sweet home that is not just an image on the outside right it's like it's really there when you look behind the scenes it's really there it feels warm but a lot of your masculines may be lacking that in their physical life at the top of the deck if i move it forward without even touching it i'm just moving it forward we have the lantern now the lantern here is revealing quite a lot here with this pond energy okay so i'm going to end off this this short message and the short check-in tonight guys by saying that tonight somewhere your masculine is out there and there's a lot that's coming into the light they may be experiencing tower moments um the dark night of the soul having sudden epiphanies they can't sleep feeling uncomfortable in their own skin um, many of your masculines may feel like it's like why am I thinking about this divine feminine so much more than usual okay it's because you're there to light up something for them they haven't been able to strut their stuff in a really long time energetically okay otherwise these feathers would be up okay they just feel like they're not in season right now and I've been talking about this a lot many of your masculines feel like their fuel is empty or they need to be revitalized re-energized in some way by the divine feminines um you know divine timing is at work here i feel like neither you or the divine masculines are in control right now but what i can tell you is that what's pushing this is the fact that they want to strut their stuff and the reason they want to do it towards you is because you represent purity and a sense of peace 
um, of home. Like when they come home, they can feel arms welcoming, welcoming them to take care of them after a long day of, you know, just being out there and working and doing whatever it is they do. I feel like they see you with the white dress as a divine feminine who has it together in the form of beautiful home sweet home where it's like they come in and they are met with open arms that just really want to be there for them in a genuine way not in a way where they come home and all of a sudden you're annoyed that they haven't done the laundry or they haven't taken their sh they took their shoes off right there and it's like they're not helping out with making dinner and you know <clears throat> I feel like you could be a divine feminine with this white dress energy here that really does appreciate everything about what it means to be a divine feminine and also appreciate what it means to be in contact with your divine masculine and part of their lesson here on this journey is to realize that they deserve a divine feminine such as you such as yourself like a lot of you divine feminines you're creating a lot of heat a lot of fire in your masculine's life if they're with a karmic partner eh? Like, I feel like the, you guys have stepped in and really showed them <clears throat> what it's like to be a divine feminine. And there's a lot of hot water. A lot of your divine masculines, they may feel emasculated at this time. They may not be in season. They may not feel, like, confident enough to, to feel in charge. But there's something about you that makes them feel that way. And it's mixed in with, like, nurture and compassion and empathy and... You just know your way around masculine energy. That's the best way I can put it, Divine Feminine. You're skilled at under... Like you... Oh God, I, I'm going to say this and it's just going to come out the way it will because I have to trust the messages that I get. But you're the type of woman where it's like... Like you just know how to take care of men. Like if... They could be young men, they could be old men, they could be middle-aged men. Like you have that feminine touch about you where you just know how to soothe that masculine energy okay so yeah that's what i have for you guys all right i love you guys take it easy and me and the saucy beeves speaking of saucy beeves i do hear some little footsteps oh wait that's ariel she's getting a drink of water where is my gun where are you little girl hi Hi, sweetheart. Aw, you gonna say bye to everyone? You're so cute for coming when I call you. Honestly, you're just the best. Like, I just, you're such a special little girl. I just, I, I just love this girl.